Eyewitness News leader. Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock starts now. The heart of the success is that it is extremely accurate. It's uh, 90% accurate. There is a new high-tech lie detector test out there, and today we put it to the test. It's called iDetect, and it's really nothing like the polygraph. That's right. Our Steve Jefferson challenged two staffers here at the station to try to beat this iDetect and see who really could get to the truth. Compared to a polygraph, iDetect is fast, cost-effective, and very accurate when it comes to finding out if you're telling the truth. Put your earphones on and go into the chin rest and make yourself comfortable. Okay. We asked WTHR Promotions writer and producer Chauncey Baker to see if he could beat Eye Detect. Lie Detector Examiner John Larkins instructed Chauncey not to be truthful about a number he chose between two and eight. I wrote down five, and, but the, uh, it said I was also contemplating four and seven. And I'm like, that's crazy, because that's exactly my thought process. Okay, are they open? Mm-hmm. Eye Detect analyzes eye behavior using an infrared camera during a series of questions. Larkins, a longtime retired indie homicide detective, believes Eye Detect can help solve some of the city's violent crimes. There's so many families out here right now that want closures to so many homicides and so many, so much crime. Although not Thanks admissible in court, closure. Larkins calls the eye detects accuracy oh amazing compared to polygraph. It is extremely accurate. It's 90% uh, accurate. Take a photo. Larkins also tested WTHR.com digital desk editor Camille Hayes, known as the most honest person in the newsroom. I felt like I was more in control than a regular person who would normally be telling a lie, but still caught me. And when it comes to finding the truth, Larkins told us, in addition to police, who else he's heard from about I detect. Girlfriends bringing in boyfriends. I've had... Uh... Wives and husbands tested for infidelity. After investigating homicides for more than 20 years as an Indianapolis detective, when John Larkins moves back to Indy, he's considering offering free eye detect tests for victims' families to help give them closure. Steve Jefferson, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Larkins tells Eyewitness News that so far the eye detect results have been permitted in one court case that occurred in New Mexico. He also encourages people falsely accused to come forward and use this technology as a way to help prove their innocence. You can learn more about eye detect online at WTHR.com.